This festive season, enjoy cooking meals while conserving the environment using Ebenezer energy saving stoves, which use volcanic stones for heating and cooking your meal as fast as you can. The stove also comes with an addition of a solar and lights. These can be for home or commercial use, and they are at a discount. But these stoves are proudly made in Uganda. For more information on how to access us, please contact us on the addresses on your screen and do not miss out on this opportunity. It is true, COVID has had a very negative impact, not only in the, in the manufacturing, not only in a, a job creation, but even in the society, in the, 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 the social fabric. There's a way um, really COVID has devastated us. But what we need to do so is not to put our hands together and lament from morning to evening. We need to start looking at the innovative ways that we can do to make sure that we stay afloat. What do I mean? If you have been working in a factory and the factory closed and you have to, to you have lost the job, why not those that have other other means of, 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 of maybe starting up something like farming, like they need people need to diversify. Because because if you try one thing and it's not working and maybe it is affected by COVID, then you need to look at at at, at, at other areas. We need to learn to to to, to work smart because People are saying now uh, we can't we can't have a meeting. Other people were earning through this training, moving all over the place, but still training can be done online. Ever since COVID came, we have seen so many factories coming up because of the demand of, of some commodities, the PPEs, the gloves, the water, all these things. And now they are manufacturing locally. So I think we, the, the most important thing is not to lament but to find ways of ad adapting to the new normal. So instead of just folding our hands and lament COVID, COVID, we need to see really how we can adapt to the new normal and move on. Even teaching those who are we, the, the, the school owners whose schools are closed, they, they adopt, it's just about, uh, it's a matter of getting internet and, 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 and getting classes conducted online. And then the, the children, of course, for the village, uh, for, the, for, the, for the village children, that is now different. But still, even then, that is the only way we are going to force ourselves to learn the technology, even in the village. Even teachers in the village have to learn the computer. They have no choice. They have to learn the computer and teach on the computers. And even those children teach. They teach the children the computers because now the, the age has changed. It is actually a computer that is going to take over our everything that we are going to do. So the earlier we teach you, even all those children in the, in the rural, the better for us.